Hello, my name is Dr. Amgad Makarios, and I'm the chairman of cardiology at Nassau University Medical Center, part of the integrated cardiac care services of the North Shore LIJ Health System. I'm going to speak to you today about the uh, cardiovascular imaging supplement that we helped guest edit uh, for the journal. I'd like to introduce or start off by uh, sort of introducing the topic, which is cardiovascular imaging, current developments in research and clinical practice. And what the supplement really focused on and, uh, is cardiovascular imaging, which over, I would say, the past 25 years has seen a expansion and growth with respect to the imaging modalities, the techniques that we use, as well as the technology behind the techniques that we use in cardiovascular imaging. Because of this, um, and what the supplement highlights, uh, the different areas of cardiovascular imaging, such as echocardiography, cardiovascular CT, nuclear perfusion imaging, cardiovascular MRI, have really become integral and central to our management and diagnosis of patients in the field of cardiology. And what we have seen based on the articles that we chose as uh, highlights of the different imaging modalities uh, in this area is that cardiovascular imaging will continue, as we already know it actually is, an integral part of the practice and appropriate delivery of cardiovascular care. The other point that we tried to stress both in our guest editorial as well as the um, journal articles that we chose for the supplement is that the appropriate use of cardiovascular imaging is essential. And what I mean by appropriate use is we have to, as cardiologists, as clinicians, really um, think twice with uh, respect to which modalities we use for which patients, because different modalities have different strengths and weaknesses, as well as safety concerns when it comes to imaging patients. So the appropriate and prudent use of the imaging modalities is key to the optimal delivery of these imaging modalities. The second part of this is quality cardiac imaging is also of utmost importance. This is realized by the false positive, false negative, sensitivity and specificity issues that we come across when it comes to performing these tests. Of course, the appropriate selection of pretest probability is essential when it comes to using these tests on patients. Taking all these things together, it is still clear to me as a cardiologist uh, in practice that cardiovascular imaging will always remain essential and central to everything we do in cardiac imaging. With this in mind, cardiovascular imaging will only continue to grow with respect to technology and appropriate use. And because of that, we were very happy to be able to put together this supplement highlighting the importance of cardiovascular imaging. Thank you for your attention.